Okay, so we're gonna start with the ink bolt and then later I'll show you how to make the text background. So let's add a solid white on the track above and then make the compositing mode multiply mask. Find the cookie cutter and add the default. Just, just gonna put the size to like 200. Put this keyframe at the end and then make it zero at the start. Just animate it with a fast fade, like so. Then for the distortion, we're gonna be using Ecto from the Universe plugin. So that just at the default, make the glow intensity zero, go to the glow settings, and put the post glow also to zero. So we just have the distortion. I'm gonna put this to just 75 to start with. Go down to the distortion settings. Then you can find pattern here. You can make this a different pattern if you want. I'm just gonna keep it on clouds for now. You can up the complexity to get more detail. Then put the scale down a bit. Let's maybe do like 50. the detail uh, maybe on 200 or something you can just mess around with these settings until you get something you like this looks pretty okay if you don't want the animation that you can see here then you can go to the animation settings and change the flow and evolution. You can just put this to zero and then then there won't be like any any other animation. So it looks more like a like ink spill. So that looks okay. Now let's do the text background. I'm just gonna add a white background here so you can actually see the, the box so I'm adding a black solid on top now let's enable the mask have the rectangle rectangle mask just do something like this quickly I'm gonna put this at the end then I'm holding control so we get both of the sides to move the same oops just gonna move like like that and then add a fast fade so we get this type of animation then go to ecto again uh, we, we could just use the same one that we put here so save that as a preset add it here I've actually been using the animation for for this effect at least. So you can use it with or without, depends on what you're going for. And we can also make the distortion a, a bit less. This looks pretty nice. And then you can just add your text on top and you're done. Pretty simple effect, but very useful in my opinion. So hopefully this helped. Um, you can check my tutorial playlist if you want to watch more tutorials by me. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.